it's Jackie, and for today's video I'm recreating three different hair looks from the movie Age of Adeline. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It was so well done, and if you're someone who likes to watch movies for the beauty looks, it's a must-see because Adeline lives for so long, so you get to see all the different beauty from the decades, and I chose to recreate three hairstyles from the modern day part of the movie because they are very wearable and they still have that little bit of elegance to them, so I thought they were a little bit unique and I thought you guys might like them. So without further ado, let's get on to the hairstyles. This is the first hairstyle. It's perfect for school, elegant and fun, keeps the hair off the face, and you don't need to keep fixing your style all day, which I love. And this is how my natural hair air dried, and I'm brushing it out and I have a side part for this look. My hair is clean, I just washed it, but this hairstyle is especially good for second day hair. On the side with more hair, section off from your part two behind the ear, and then clip that up and repeat with less hair on the other side. Once you've pinned those sections up, move on to the back of the hair, and I try to use minimal teasing in my tutorials, but we don't want the part to trail off in the back, so just comb the rest of your hair backwards. And then for a little texture, I used Texture Tease Spray by Garnier, and this adds a little bit of volume, and then I gently tease to make sure that part doesn't fall back into place. Taking the pinned up section, curl the hair backwards to give the hair some movement, Finger comb your hair upwards, slightly twist, and then bobby pin down. Try to keep the bobby pin hidden by pushing it back into the twist. On the other side, curl those front pieces slightly, and again let it cool off in its shape so the style stays more effortlessly. And sorry about the footage being a little bit blurry, but just twist the hair backwards, adding in front sections, into an easy roll, and pin as you go. Now for the fishtail, add some texture spray, and if you don't know how to fishtail braid, it's super easy. Just section your hair into two, and then take small sections from the outermost side and bring it over into the other side. Alternate back and forth. And I wanted texture at the bottom of my hair, so I curled it and then finished up my fishtail so it was kind of loose and messier. And then I sectioned it off with a dark ponytail elastic. Fan out the braid and the twist a little bit, and give your hair a quick hairspray, and there is the completed look. Two, super simple and easy and perfect for work. Again, brush out your hair, and my fave brush is actually the wet brush, and like last time, slightly tease the crown area to smooth it out. Starting with the left side, tease a little bit so the twist holds, and then start twisting backwards, adding in hair along the hairline as you go. I'm using a couple bobby pins into the twist, and then I am pinning it at the back of my head. On the other side, grab a small section, twist upwards, and again, pin into the twist, hiding the bobby pin. Create a second twist, adding in hair, and also pin to the back of your head. Take a hair elastic and tie off a low pony, and now we are going to create a messy bun. Start by twisting the hair into a loose ballerina bun, hold it down with some bobby pins, and leave a little bit of extra hair out of the bun. 
tease those ends and then cover the twist so you have this messy texture going on. And of course, pin down some more so the style stays put. And there you have the second look. You can leave the bun as a polished ballerina bun, but I think it looks nice with a little bit of messy texture, so it contrasts with the soft twists. Cut the cord. Are we human? Or are we dancer? My sign is vital. My hands are cold. super easy as well and we are simply going to curl the hair so for my heat protectant I like to use one by Tresemme and I spray it along the lengths and the ends and then brush it through again I'm adding a little teasing around my part so my hair stays put and I'm making sure the crown section is pushed back Next, starting at the front, I'm taking around a 2 inch section, curling backwards and then clipping it loosely into its shape as it cools. For the rest of the curls, I curl towards my face and then I scrunch it in my hand for a fluffy soft texture and then let it go. Once those curls are complete, brush out the ends so they are very soft, and then add some texture spray or hairspray for more hold and volume. Undo the first curl we did, brush it out and style it so it swoops over the forehead and into the other curls. Just curl away from your face on the other side, and I'm using the same technique of holding it in my hand, scrunching it so it loosens up while still keeping its shape. Finish fluffing up the bottom of the curls, and then take a small front section, finger comb it up, slightly twist it, and then pin back with a vintage inspired clip. Make sure the twist has a little volume and you're good to go. Let me know in the comments down below which hairstyle out of the three is your favorite. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed these hair looks, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more hair tutorials, and if you have any other requests, you can let me know in the comments down below, and be sure to check out my down bar where I have my social media links, all the songs used, as well as any products, and yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated and see what looks are to come, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>